Hello friends, myself Amar. In this video, I will discuss one more Java FX control that is choice, choice box. Choice box means it will display a list of items from where we can select only one item at a time. Okay. To create the choice box, we need to use a predefined class which is called as a choice box and what type of value it will contain, it will contain string values. Right. Now, with this check uh, with this choice box we need to add some items which we need to display okay so let me uh, execute the project first see these are this is nothing but the choice box and these are the items right now to add these items to the choice box we have different different ways right the first way is cb dot get items dot add all right cb is nothing but the object of the choice box and to add the items we have used get items dot add all method if you want to add a single item then we will use add method but if you want to add multiple items then we will use add all method in the add all c c plus plus java java fx that's why we are getting these items right this is the first way what is the second way the second way is we need to create a observable list as you can see observable list of string type fx collections dot observable array list and here you need to pass the items which you want to add right and after that we need to add this item with the choice box how to do that this can be done by two ways the first one is at the time of creating the object of choice box class you can pass that items in the constructor okay or you can use the set items method and in the set items method you can pass the observable list items which we have created right so here you can see choice box of string cb equals to new choice box here i have passed items and this items contains these values this means whenever the choice box will be created it will contain these items right or we can write cb dot set items items right items contains what items contains these values this means whenever the choice box will be there it will contain the items which i have written here right now here i have used one more method that is cv dot set value this means whenever i will execute this program by default the value in the choice box will be c right and after that i have added this uh, choice box with the scene these things you know already nothing to discuss here I will go to the event portion. What I want to do is that whenever I will select the item from this choice box, then it will display a message, right? To do that, we have used the event like this: cb dot get selection model dot selected item property. Selected item property means the item which we are selecting from the choice box, right? With that, we are adding a listener. And here I am using a lambda expression which is taking three parameters v, comma ov, comma nv. Here you can pass anything or you can pass any name which you want to do. V means the choice box itself. Ov means old value of the choice box. Nv means new value of the choice box. Right? Please remember here you can pass any name. Right? Now here I have printed system dot out dot print ln ov. This means it will print the old value. Uh, with that, uh, this message will be concatenated and the new value will be printed, right? Uh, if you see the output, let me open the window output. This now, if you select the item, like I am choosing C, what is the old item C? Now, I am choosing the new value C. See, the old value is C and the new value is C. Now, if I choose Java. And the old value is C++, but the new value is Java. C++ and the new value is Java. This is how we can create choice box. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel.